What's going on, YouTube? So after I killed the Taurus, and I killed it, uh, I had to find something else to get. And uh, so me and my friend, we wanted to keep doing this. But I wanted something with a little more power. I wanted something that I could have selectable transmission, not just to drive park reverse neutral. You know, I want to be able to put it in low gear. That was the problem with the Taurus. We were going to end up just completely tearing the transmission apart, which we pretty much did that anyway. So I looked on the good old marketplace, and there ain't no $500 cars no more. So I kept looking, 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 looking. Then I have, I had a boom boom stick that I was trying to sell. Old buddy called me and goes, hey man, I'll give you a car and some money for that boom boom stick. I was like, absolutely. I was like, what kind of car is it? Because it's a Buick LaSabre. Hadn't ran in about five years. Been sitting in the weeds. Has no idea what the title is, because, you know, why keep up with those? And so, there I went. I went to try to check it out. And uh, I'll show you a picture of it when I first bought it. It was pretty filthy. So I did that. I went and picked it up. Took it home. Shot about 43 gallons worth of starter fluid down the throttle body. It fired up. Blew the head gaskets apart. So after I've rebuilt this thing two or three times, and I hate that I didn't video all that, this is what it looks like now. So now it's obviously highly, mod highly modified. Uh, lifted it three inches, 31,050 recap mud tires. I highly suggest those if you're going to do this. Why spend a thousand dollars when you can spend three hundred bucks and do exactly what you wanted? Uh, I did run the exhaust all the way up to here. Dang, I broke my wheel. So, yeah, I'll fix that, or just don't worry about it. Custom tail lights, because you know we need those. A little group that I run with, we call ourselves the Mud Ducks. Yeah, that's right. I go places they can't at times but yeah Buick LeSabre uh, it's got 3800 in it and I've rebuilt it several times and we are sponsored by Bush Light uh, the snorkeler is actually intact so I just ran PVC don't worry about that computer down there you can get water on it ran a bunch of hose clamps that's what you need you can do a job like this you need plenty of hose clamps so yeah, this is the new, it's got a, uh, the new Gambler. 5,500 pound winch, lights, that whole shebang. Cause who goes off roading without LED lights? I mean, you gotta have the lead lights. Uh, roof rack I made out of some scrap aluminum. All that good jazz. So yeah, here it is. And we'll be doing a bunch of stuff to this car. Uh, I, I, I'm going to end up turning the um, air, AC compressor into an air compressor. I'll do a full video on that. I'm going to put a winch in the trunk. No, the trunk. The back, I'm sorry. Put it back here because you need one. I mean, you just got to have it. Of course, you got to have the more lead lights. But, yeah, so here is the Buick LaSabre. It's a, it's a dandy. I can show you the interior real quick because it's just glorious. When I first got it, it was full of rats, poop, dead stuff, about a three foot rattlesnake. <clears throat> the good old captain's chair. Got each of these gauges, each one of them add three horsepower. Master switch because I could not figure out for the life of me what was draining the battery. So screw trying to figure it out put a master switch in here good old 25 dollar radio off facebook cb i found in a junk car at scrapyard and uh yeah ripped all the carpet out because like i said all the feces that was no good let's take a look in the trunk that'll tell you a lot about this car on the problems that it has you know this is beautiful smith lake by the way so if you look in my trunk compartment which i'm proud of because i made a radiator rack which is in here because i have messed up several several of those now if you look down in here 
I have three extra CV axles because I have been known to break those. So, yes. Oil containment, snatch block, an extra oil filter because I've knocked this the oil filter off of this. Get an extra oil, electrical, this more tools. But normally, when I, before I hit the trail, this thing's slammed full of stuff. You gotta have more lead lights. You gotta have those. So, like, follow, subscribe, all that crap. Comment. You think it's a pile of junk? You're pretty stupid for building a little sabre. But I think there's something about building a car. It's a huge freaking spider. It's a dead spider now. Come on. There's something about building something that should not do what we do with it. And that's what I find intriguing. Yes, I could go buy a Jeep. I've had a Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Gladiator. And it's a lot easier to put it four-wheel drive low or high and measy on through something. But when you go to an off-road park and you pull up in a Buick La Sabre and you full send it, because you touch that skinny pedal and you put it to the floor, you'd be surprised what one of these things will do. Now, you may have to rebuild it 3,000 times like I've done this one. But, you know, that's what happens when you use your sponsor correctly. You'll get on that skinny pedal. So, this is the car. I'm going to stop rambling. I don't know when to stop. I just keep talking. At the end of the day, it's just a Buick Sabre with a big block 3,800 in it. I may supercharge it. Comment what we should do to this thing. Put it on a four-wheel drive frame or just keep beating the piss out of it but this is my youtube channel i'm gonna keep posting videos hopefully weekly like i said like follow subscribe comment or don't it don't matter to me i'm just gonna keep doing it see y'all later